Hi, I'm Jeff Doyle, and welcome to this episode of Tracking 200 in New Hampshire today. Dry ground, November 7th. So, plan is to go in and sit a scrape line pretty much close to where I, I was in uh, episode 4. There's uh, definitely a couple good bucks in here. Finding a big one in the big woods, though, was kind of like a needle in a haystack right now. So I got the grunt call. I got some rattling bones, and I'm going to get moving, get over in there, pick a spot where, uh, where I can see a little bit, and make sure it's not near any babbling brooks or streams so I can do some calling. The plan is side of this fly. You can see that mountain top up there. It's a nice little drainage in here. It's a flat spot and I might be able to catch something coming back from its uh, nighttime jaunt as it's coming up either this mountain or this mountain. So what little wind we have, it's wrong for that setup. So I'm on a plan B. here so I'm gonna pack it up and go ditch my heavy coat heavy pants try to go do some scouting here that ridge is a long ways off there's a big flat in between this ridge and the one I'm on this one actually comes down based on the map and uh, forms a little saddle right in there so that's my goal for the next like two hours, try to get up to that cell.
contracts on this. I think Buck's been using this quite a bit. Yeah. I'm going to find a spot to hang out here for a while. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Tracking 200. Hope you enjoyed the footage of that buck. It's probably like a 150 pound, two and a half year old. Not what I'm looking for for Tracking 200, but nice buck nonetheless. Nice to see one up close. Um, I think the key to seeing him today was just keep moving until I cut fresh sign. I ended up uh, walking 5.1 miles after my morning sit to, um, to go looking for sign and that was the freshest sign I saw all day. There was tracks all over. There was a spot that it looked like two bucks could have fought. I didn't take a video of it because I didn't see any hair. It was all kind of torn off the leaves there. It might have been something just digging. And then, of course, using the pleat call. I think using the pleats what sucked him right in there because he came to within 15 steps and just stopped. He was looking around for, you know, what made that sound. Um, did seven and a half miles today on crunchy leaves. Long day in the woods, but you know, getting to see a buck like that's a nice reward for it. So, there's more season left. We'll see you on the trail.